Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions back again with this beautiful 2009 PC build. Uh, the reception for the first video was great. I appreciate all the feedback that I got for that. Um, everybody said that it looked great and I was thrilled with the way it turned out. Now when I first had the idea for this build, I planned on it being a 2008 build, installing my good buddy Windows Vista up there, but Oh, uh, since it got moved back to 2009 because of a few parts I had to get, um, today I'm going to be installing Windows 7 on it. Now, I'm not going to be using the weird Microsoft's 32-bit um, installation disk that comes with it, the pretty green and uh, gold disk. I'll be using some of my bootleg disks, but that is what we'll be doing today. I'm not sure which one of these is actually Windows 7, so we'll be figuring that out too. But, but anyway, let's go ahead and start installing Windows 7. Alright, I believe I've got everything set up, so let's go ahead and put our disk in. Make sure it's lined up nicely in the DVD drive. Close that. And uh, get out of the BIOS. All right, now we should be booting from the uh, DVD. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so, um, that DVD drive didn't work, um, for some reason, it didn't like, I guess it didn't like my DVD drive, my bootleg drive, but now I've got another DVD drive in it that I know likes them, it's the one that I burned it with, so, um, we're going to try that now, and, uh, well, actually, I already tried it, as you can see on the screen there, um, we're going to try installing Windows 7 here, so let's see. English, English, US. That's good. Mouse is working. That's very good. Um, install now. I'd just like to point out that I'll be filming this sequence with my camera from 2009, so small world. that it uh, automatically set the screen resolution to 1400, 1440 by 900, which is correct. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's installed. It didn't take too long. It took about half an hour, as it usually does. This is Windows 7 Ultimate, so we can play um, Solitaire. And there it is. Look at that. All right. There's. There's our gaming benchmarks. Thank you very much for watching. I'll get some more stuff set up on here and uh, we'll see what it can really do.
All right, so I got Windows 7 installed. Um, when I first installed it, apparently uh, the ISO that I had burned to that disk uh, had no service packs installed. So we were truly running the 2009 experience before, but got um, service pack one installed. And a couple of the programs were acting a little funny, not installing properly. So that's all fixed now. Let's run some benchmarks. I have Heaven and Cinebench. I also want to look at um, CPU Z, see what our uh, thermal situation is with the CPU with that uh, thermal paste. If you didn't watch part one where I put this system together, I encourage you to do so. I have some funny uh, thermal paste that I applied to the CPU, some real 2009 thermal paste. So uh, actually, it would probably be a little older than that. But anyway, enough spoilers. Go watch that video, then come back and well, whatever. Do whatever you want to do. Honestly, let's just. This is bitch part of this old computer. So here's our results. Uh, average FPS was 21.9, score of 550. All right, so here is the temperatures of each CPU core. And here is Cinebench R15. And uh, we're gonna run it right now. So we got some Cinebench R15 results here. We got a OpenGL score 50 FPS, whatever. Uh, but CPU multi-core, we got uh, 160, which is comparable to a modern-day quad-core uh, Celeron N3450, 1.1 gigahertz. That's right. Uh, and we got a single-core score of 86, which is comparable to an i3-5010U. Uh, which is a dual core, ultra low voltage, um, 2.1 gigahertz. Um, both of those mobile CPUs, of course. And my CPU temperature is maxed out at about 45 degrees, so that's uh, not bad at all. So that 13-year-old uh, thermal paste is just fine. Uh, all right, so comparing my score to a couple of scores I found online, people that tested their E8400, one guy got 159, another guy got 165, and one person um, got a score of 322 with an E8400 clocked at 5.8 gigahertz. So uh, my score feels really insignificant now, but whatever, it's functioning pretty decently. All right, so what else is there to say, really? Um, systems functioning great, scores in Cinebench and Heaven were reasonable, no extreme overclocking or anything like that, just, you know, I just built my computer in 2009 and wanted to see how it's functioning. But I think what I'm most happy about is things like uh, the hard drive, the RAM, just everything kind of combines here to make a pretty reasonable system. I mean, I actually use this all, almost all day yesterday installing all these programs, and setting up windows, etc. And uh, it works fine. I can, uh, let's see, open up Chrome here. Chrome open ups just, you know, reasonably fast. I mean, maybe uh, an NVMe SSD would do it slightly faster, but it works pretty reasonably in my opinion. So uh, I thank you for watching. Um, up next, hopefully next time we see this computer, we'll have some gaming benchmarks. And when I do that, I might have a certain special system to compare it to. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you just discovered the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more videos on this system to come. 
And uh, if you haven't watched it already, watch the video where I built this system. Uh, unbox this new old stock case. It's a doozy, it's 27 minutes, but it's worth every second. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know about all that. But anyway, thank you for watching and stay safe out there.